create a new composition and select the 1080p preset, with 24 frames per second. Set the duration to 10 seconds, and the background color to white. Go to Layer, New, Solid. Click on Make Comp Size, and for the color set the red to 90, the green to 10, and the blue to 10. Go to Rectangle Tool, hold your left mouse button, and select the Ellipse Tool. Double click on the Ellipse, and then go to the Mask, and select the Subtract option. Open up the Mask, and set the Mask Feather to 900. Press T on your keyboard, and set the Opacity to 20%. I provided some clips so you can follow along. The download link is located in the video description. Import the first smoke footage, and put it on the timeline. Go to Effect, Channel, Invert. Go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. Create a point, and pull it all the way down. Select the red channel, but this time pull the point up. Right click on the top layer, and go to blending mode, multiply. Go to layer, new, text. Type something, and choose a font. I'm using Supernatural Night. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in the video description. For this font I'll make the size 140 points. Set the stroke width to 3 pixels, and select the fill over stroke option. Double click on the fill color, and set the red to 120, the green to 20, and the blue to 0. Double click on the stroke color, and set the red to 210, the green to 0, and the blue to 0. Select the top layer and duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D, or Command D if you are on a Mac. Rename it to Blur, and turn the visibility off. Import the second smoke footage, and put it on the timeline. Click on the first smoke footage, go to Effect Controls, and select the effects by holding down the Shift key. Copy the effects, and paste them to the second smoke footage. Right click on the top layer, and go to Blending Mode, Multiply. Select the third layer, and go to Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe. Set the transition to 100%, the wipe angle to minus 90, and the feather to 50. Go to the start of the clip, and click on the stopwatch, to set the first keyframe of the transition. Play through the footage, and reduce the transition completion, so that the smoke is constantly surrounding your text. Move the beginning of the second layer, right after the linear wipe transition. Go to the last seconds of the clip, and move the end point of the second layer. 
We'll make the text shaky at the end of the clip, so select your text layer, press P on your keyboard, and click on the stopwatch to set a keyframe. Go to the next frame, and move the text with selection tool activated. To move the text back to its default position, go to the next frame, right click on position, and click on reset. Drag the timeline a little bit far away, and create another keyframe by clicking on the little diamond. Go to scale by pressing S on your keyboard, and create a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch. Do the same thing for rotation, by hitting R. Go to the next frame, set the rotation to 45 degrees, and the scale to 1000%. Go to the next frame, and move the text far away, to make it disappear. Turn the visibility of the second layer back on. Go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. Set the blur dimensions to vertical. Go to blurriness and click on the stopwatch. Create a flickering effect, by increasing and decreasing the blurriness every one second. Import the first shockwave footage, and put it on the timeline. Press S on your keyboard, and set the scale to 250. Click on the second smoke footage, go to effect controls, and select the effects by holding down the shift key. Copy the effects, and paste them to the shockwave footage. Right click on the top layer, and go to blending mode, multiply. Import the second shockwave footage, and put it on the timeline. Repeat the exact same steps, but this time move the shockwave to the bottom right corner. Import the third shockwave footage, and put it on the timeline. Repeat the exact same steps, but this time move the shockwave up. Click on RAM Preview to see the result.